Hello everybody. Welcome to part two of our terminal usage and command series of videos. Uh, today we're going to learn how to create uh, files and directories, copy files and directories, remove files and directories. So to get started, let's create a file. So right now I have opened up my terminal. According to this little tilde character, I am inside my home directory. So let's create a file. Well, I don't want to create a file inside my home directory because, you know, there's a lot of stuff in my home directory. I'd rather move to an empty directory where it's easy to keep up with these uh, new files and directories that we create. So I am going to move to my desktop directory because I'm pretty sure my desktop directory is empty. It almost always stays empty on my machine. So I'm going to change to my desktop directory with the cd command we learned in the last video, cd tilde slash desktop and let's check to see if my desktop directory is in fact empty. You remember from before the list command ls and it returns nothing just to make sure there are no hidden files or uh, hidden directories in my desktop directory ls dash a just to be certain and again it returns nothing. It does return this uh, dot and this two dots but We'll ignore that for now. The directory is in fact empty. So let's create a file. The command we need to use to create a file will be the touch command. T-O-U-C-H. Touch. And then the name of our file. Let's name this file that we're creating first.txt. So a first text file. Hit enter. Now let's do the list command, ls again and now we have a first.txt file listed in our desktop folder. Now say I wanted to create multiple files, uh, would I have to do each individual file touch, you know, first.txt and then touch dot or touch second.txt and so on and so forth. No, uh, you can actually create multiple files just by typing the file names separated by space. So I could do touch second.txt space third.txt space and so on and so forth. Hit the uh, or type in the ls command again for list and you will see I've created a second.txt and a third.txt file to go along with the first.txt file we created earlier. So that is how you create new files. Now, how do you create a new directory? Well, you do that with the make directory command. And the make directory command is MKDIR, stands for make directory. And the directory I'm going to create, we'll call it test. We'll create a directory named test in my desktop directory. Hit enter. Type the ls command again to list. And now you see I have the three txt files from before listed and I also have this new test directory listed inside my desktop directory. Now say I want to move all three of those txt files from my desktop directory and move them inside the test directory that we just created. Well you would do that with the move command and the move command is mv and you do first.txt and then the uh, path to where you want to move the first.txt, which in this case is test. Hit enter. Run the list command again, ls. You will see my first.txt file is no longer inside my desktop directory. Well, let's change to the test directory, cd, test. Now we're inside the test directory. Run the list command again, ls and the first.txt file is inside my test directory. So we were successful in moving that file from the desktop to the test directory. Um, just like we did with the touch command, you can move multiple files just by separating their file names with a space. So let me go back to the desktop directory, cd, and I can get there by typing desktop, the path to desktop, but since I want to go one folder up you know, get the desktop directory, it's just one folder up from the test directory I'm in currently. I could do CD and then two two periods. 
and that gets me one folder up. That's the desktop folder. Now, let me move the second and third.txt files inside the test directory. Move second.txt, third.txt, and then the path to where we want to move them to, which in this case is test again. Enter ls for the list command, and all of those text files are no longer in my desktop folder. Let's cd to the test directory run the list command again and all three of those text files are now inside the test directory okay the next command we should discuss uh, is the copy command and you know instead of just creating files and then moving files what if you wanted to create a copy of a file and place that copy in a different location well you would do that with the copy command which is CP. So we're currently inside the test directory. That first .txt file is located in here. Say I want to copy it. Well, CP, first .txt, and then the location where I want to copy it to. Let's say I want to copy it back into the desktop folder, the path to the desktop. Hit enter. Let's run the list command. Okay, we still have the first .txt file listed in the test directory. Let's move to the desktop directory, cd, and then to move up one directory we can just go cd period period that way we don't have to type cd and then the full path to the desktop. cd space period period always moves you up one directory. ls and we have a copy of first.txt also in the desktop directory now. Okay, so that is how to copy. Now let me cd back into the test directory. Just like the touch command and the uh, move command, you can copy multiple files just by typing the file names with a space between them. So copy second.txt space third.txt and then the location to the desktop folder. And that too, let's cd back into the desktop folder ls and now we have copied all those files into the desktop folder. Now, let's say I want to remove some of these files and directories. Let's say I want to remove that test directory that also has three .txt files in it. How would I go about doing that? Well, you have a remove directory command that we could use. RMDIR is remove directory and then the location of directory, the directory test. So remove directory, test, hit enter. Ah, we have an error. Failed to remove test because the directory is not empty. The remove directory command can only be used on an empty directory. So why don't we delete all the files in that directory first before we run the remove directory command. Well, let's cd back into the test directory. And now we will remove the first, second, and third.txt files that are in this directory. The remove command is rm, rm for remove, and then first.txt, and just like the copy commands and move commands, you just do a space and type the next file you want to remove, second.txt, space, third.txt, hit enter. Let's run the ls command again and nothing is returned. This is now an empty directory so let's cd space period period to go up one directory to our desktop directory ls you will see the test directories inside it so remove dir rmdir remove directory tests should now work. Nothing is returned let's run the ls command on the desktop directory the test directory has been removed it's no longer here we've deleted it so, uh, we've discussed removing directories and removing files, uh, but the remove directory function, again, only works on an empty directory. Um, how would you go about removing a directory that had files and subfolders in it? Surely you don't have to delete every single file in a directory before you delete, delete it. No, you don't. There is a way to delete a directory that has files in it. And you do that with the remove command, just like you did for uh, 
for files. It works a little bit differently on directories though. First, let's create a directory to practice this on. So let's make directory test again. We need to put something in it. So let's move and then space. I'm going to hit the arrow key on my keyboard because this shell remembers the last commands you have typed that started with MV. If I hit the arrow key it will cycle through those. Ah, look. It remembers that command from before. I'm going to hit enter again and it should move all those first, second, and third .txt files. Yeah, they're no longer in my desktop directory. CD into test. LS to list. We have moved them back into our new test directory again. Now I'm going to CD space period period to get back to the desktop directory. Again, we know remove directory test is not going to work since the directory is not empty. But the remove command by itself, rm, which is normally supposed to be used for files, but it will work on directories if you use the dash r flag for recursive. And recursive means it's going to delete this directory. It will also delete any subdirectories inside it. It will delete all the files inside this directory and also any files inside subdirectories and so on. Basically, it's going to delete this directory and everything that's in it. All right, click enter, ls, nothing is returned. The desktop directory is now empty again. Now, uh, one word on using the remove dash r for recursive command. It is a dangerous command to run because as you just saw you know it removes every single file and subdirectory inside the directory that you, uh, you give it uh, a command to run on. So say I did this rm space dash r command on my root directory. Well you can imagine on a Linux box that that would be devastating. You would tell it to basically delete every single file and directory on the hard drive. You would uh, you would basically completely destroy your system. So rm-r is a powerful command. Use it with caution.